Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll walk over how to get started with SQLite on Windows. SQLite, as you know, is a handy database software. The first thing you need to do is download SQLite from the website sqlite.org. I'm going to click on download and scroll to the pre-compiled binaries for Windows. Just click on this and the binaries will be downloaded and you can click on the download button and then you will see this sqlite3.exe file now all you need to do is just right click on it copy and go to the c drive in the c drive create a new folder and you can call it sqlite if you want or give it another name um, paste the sqlite3.exe file inside this folder now next you need to go to your start button and click on in the search box type cmd for command and press enter and you will see the command prompt and you can resize this a little bit and drag it around to fit the appropriate uh, dimensions the command prompt is uh, just another interface to the Windows file system. Now, you need to first navigate to the SQLite folder that you just created. To do that, type cd space backslash, and then it will go to the root C directory or C folder, and then or the C drive, and then type cd space SQLite, enter, and now you're inside the SQLite folder. You can see what all files are located here by typing dir. Dir is a command that will list all the files. And you see here sqlite3.exe, which you downloaded. Now you can get started by typing sqlite3 um, space test.db. And when you type this, you're asking sqlite3 to create a database called test.db. Press enter. And you should see a sqlite cursor like this and you can now get started creating a table inside this database create table let's call it first and a integer b string these are the two um, fields inside this table you end your command with a semicolon press enter and now you have created your first table you can see that the table has been created by typing in dot schema and you will see that the command that you just entered shows up here you can now try to enter some values into this table so insert into first a b values one hello and you need to press the semicolon otherwise it will just show this other kind of prompt which shows that it's just continuing to expect uh, some commands from you so you just put the semicolon press enter and now you can actually see that the table has some data you can verify this by typing select star from first and you will see that one and hello that you just typed in here is inserted in your table now that we have seen how to create our first table and insert some data into the table, we'll see how to quit SQLite. You just type dot quit and press enter. And now you're back at the C prompt and you can close the session. Or I just want to show you one thing. If you pressed dir now, you'll see that there is a file called test.db. This is the database file that we created through SQLite 3. If you want to get back into it, you can type SQLite space, SQLite 3 space test.db. And you're back inside your test.db and you can type dot schema and you'll see the table. You can select all the rows from this table and you'll see the data that you entered a little while ago. 